Hello everybody, Gina Aliotti here, and this week I wanted to share with you a really simple recipe, something that's really going to enhance any food that you eat. So we eat a lot of clean food and you need to be creative in order to be able to eat those foods on a daily basis. So I used to get these at Trader Joe's, either like an olive um, spread or a bell pepper spread, and then I decided, you know what, I'm going to make this on my own. This is so easy, much less expensive. So I'm going to show you how I make my walnut bell pepper spread. It goes great on eggs, any lean protein, fish, turkey, chicken, even great as a salad dressing. So I'm going to go ahead and share this with you and I hope you enjoy it. So first things first, I'm going to start with um, a food processor and you can use a blender or a food processor, but I'm going to use a food processor today. And I have um, a whole plate here of two red bell peppers and one tomato. So I'm going to start by just adding in my bell peppers and tomato right into the food processor. And I'm going to add it little by little so that I can mix it slowly. So we'll start with just about half of the plate. And then I'm going to turn this on and mix it up. Fantastic. Okay, now I'm going to add the remaining ingredients. And what's so great is that you can get as creative as you want. So you can add more than I'm adding, less than I'm adding. Um, you can also puree it a little bit more if you want a thinner spread or if you want a thicker, thicker spread, you can puree it a little bit less. So if you want it a little more chunky. So it just kind of depends on the mood I'm in. And um, today I'm going to go with a, a little bit of a thinner puree. So I'm just going to add the remaining bell pepper and tomato and continue mixing this. All right, and there's so much moisture in the bell pepper that you really don't need a lot of added uh, liquids. So we will use a little bit of olive oil, but it doesn't take much. So I'm going to do about uh, two to three tablespoons of olive oil. Then I'm going to do about a teaspoon of Himalayan sea salt, just about a teaspoon or so. Then I'm going to add um, one lemon, one fresh lemon, just squeeze that in there. Make sure you get all the seeds out because the seeds can add for a little bit of bitterness. So make sure you scrape out all the seeds, add the lemon juice. And then I'm going to add one baby carrot. So it was kind of more like a mini carrot, not a baby carrot, but it was one mini carrot. And I'm going to continue mixing. All right, our final ingredient here, I'm keeping it real simple today, is I'm going to add about two cups of walnuts. So this is the key ingredient. I love just the bell pepper puree by itself. But if I'm feeling a little nutty or want to add in those fats, I'll go ahead and add my walnuts right in. Two cups. And continue mixing. Okay, so it's all ready to go. So now I'm just going to remove the lid. And I have a glass cup here or a bowl, whatever it is that you prefer. And I'm going to just add the puree in here and I'm going to place it in the refrigerator and this is going to last me up to a week and I can add this onto like I said as many different um, entrees as I like love it in wraps it really just tastes good with anything even just by itself like a bell pepper soup so I'm just adding this right in to this cup and as you can see it makes plenty so I still have a little bit left over and here is my bell pepper puree. Give this a try. Much cheaper than any store-bought puree and much healthier. And, um, and this, I'm just going to place the cap on it, place it in my fridge, and it's going to last me up to a week. So give this a try. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope this makes eating clean a little bit more tasty. See you next week.